just a little bit of a show off thing or whatever you could call it. Uh, my name's Adrian. <coughs> Uh, you might have seen some of the other videos that I've done, but you probably haven't. Uh, so, basically I'll just give you the quick summary of what I'm going to do here. Uh, I did a video of three, uh, three videos of how to sort of roughly improvise over rockabilly, like a really quick, easy way. Um, but now I'm going to compress that into the next maybe three, four minutes. Um, because, look, I know how it is. You don't want to learn rockabilly in three videos, you want it now in one. So, I'm going to give it a bit of a shot. Alright, basically... The stuff I was going on about in that other video was based around the minor pentatonic scale. Alright, so, so do your homework, but uh, if you haven't... Alright, just adjust this down a little bit. Alright, cool, so that's the minor pentatonic scale, so that's the idea we're starting off. Basically what we're going to do is just add some cool things to that and go from there. So, um, <clears throat> first note I'm going to add is, um, we'll, we'll do it coming from the top there. So this is the root note here. And, uh, but we'll go from the minor third here, so we've got... Alright, just that little section there. Let's add this note here. Alright, so already that's slightly more rockabilly. Alright, can we see that? Hopefully. Alright, now, so that's actually the second, uh, the natural second. Um, basically now we're going to add the natural six. See that? That's there. Cool, so it's starting to sound a little more rockabilly. You can sort of feel a bit more vibe there. All right, so... All right, so there's some of those cool tones. Now, um, this note here gives us a real Dorian effect for all the, the jazz theory nuts out there. Uh, but let's keep it simple. Now, uh, the next note I'm going to add is the blues note. This guy here. It's starting to sound a bit sensory now, or very sensory. Um, for further reference, check out the minor pentatonic blues scale. Um, sure, someone's done it. You know, YouTube's quite resourceful. Anyhow, uh, all right. So what I'm going to do now is we'll, we'll basically just stick with this for a little bit, and I'll just show you how to play that going, continuing back. Except I did forget the blues note. Let's try that again. So. Now the final step, so uh, I'll go over that one more time. Alright, so the natural six. Blues note. Blues note there. That's the second. Alright. So we start we started with this. Now we've got this. Ooh. Okay, there we go, something like that. Alright, cool. Uh, and now the very last thing to add to really make it rockabilly, maybe make it sort of a bit country, is the, the f going from the flat third to the, the natural third, getting that. So let's say we're here. See that? See what I did there? Alright, so let's go from the minor third up to the seventh fret. That's the natural third, and we're going to do that all the way back. So flat third, natural third. Finishing on the root. Very cool sound. Sounds cool when we jump to the, the flat seven there even. Get your tritone happening. All right. And then there's a blues note, and then slide from the first fret to the second fret there to get that, or, or you can alternatively, from here, from the pinky there. We're getting that uh, flat third, that minor third to flat third thing. So just to sum that up, watch the scale. We can even add that in just as part of the scale. We don't have to go. We can do it. All right, but uh, the majority of the time, the, the rockabilly players do that. All right, so now I'm just going to have a bit of a muck around with that. So, 
Uh, I did want to take that in different directions to, to really get those chords going, but I thought, no, I'll keep it in that shape and, and what we're talking about. So there you go. So there's a, uh, basically, I don't know how much you got from that. Give us some feedback. Let us know what you think. Too fast, too much happening. If so, you might want to check out the uh, videos one, two, and three of Rockabilly Improvisation. But thanks for your time.